I'm David Cassidy. I'm Sean Cassidy, yeah. and we're uh, brothers, brothers playing, playing brothers. Blood Brothers on, on Broadway. Broadway. And you're watching Good Morning America. <laughs> 37 minutes after they made teen hearts throb, David Cassidy on The Partridge Family and following in his brother's footsteps, Sean Cassidy on The Hardy Boys Mysteries in the 70s, their faces were everywhere. They sold millions of records and concert tickets. Now they're getting standing ovations all over again, starring with Petula Clark on Broadway and Blood Brothers. <laughs> And there with us this morning. Nice to have you guys both here. It seems Thank like you. I usually talk to you separately because you had your separate careers. Is this the first time you've appeared together on stage? It's Am actually right? the first time we've ever gone out together, I think. <laughs> first time I've ever spoken to it. Yeah, we, we don't <laughs> talk much off camera. <laughs> But the fact that you're really <laughs> brothers and you're playing brothers, I don't know whether that helps or not. Does it, do you think? Well, I, go. Speaking, speaking for me, go, Tom. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I, uh, I, uh, I had some concerns about it, because when you're working with an, an actor that's not a member of your family, you know, there are professional boundaries you don't cross, but if you're with family, it's like, well, would you work with your family? You know. <laughs> is it, this is your Broadway debut. Is, I yes. mean, I know you have lots of theater background, but this is your Broadway first debut. First time, yeah. David's well, done a lot. Yeah, though. you've done a lot of it before. Well, I mean, I, I did my very first job was on Broadway. Um, when I was 18, but that was more than half my life ago now. And I did Joseph 10 years ago, and yeah, I, I tell you, it's a, it's a really bizarre and wonderful feeling being next to somebody that you love and that you're that close to. What happens to both of our characters in our in in the play, and um, towards the end of the opening night, I'm in a very emotional scene. It was like being in a play within a play. Seeing weird? him yeah. playing my brother, talking about my brother, and saying, "This is my brother," and it actually grounds you a lot. Yeah, it gives you a, a, a base from which to work, and, it, and it's very freeing. Which one forgot the entrance and left the other one hanging out there on stage? <laughs> you? Uh, should I go now? Yeah. <laughs> a little Broadway etiquette. Yeah. You know? Isn't this interesting how they, these fabulous little things? tap dancer, oh, by the way. Yeah? You, you have no idea. I did five minutes of Jackie Gleason. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Say, where is he? I'll kill him. <laughs> I was ad libbing, and and liver puddly in ad ad libbing. I might yes. add. Yeah. Which was we really should say. I mean, just so everybody knows, it's your twin brothers. You're separated at birth, mm -hmm. and then you come back to. I don't think you know that your brothers at that point. No, we never know until you the never last know. moment of the they play. You never know. They fall in I don't want to tell the whole well, thing. We fall in love Should with I? the same girl. Yeah, okay. And, uh, and so there you, you leads clash. To tragic consequences. All right, Much let's like take a look. Those, yeah. <laughs> We're going to take a look right now at the two of you in action. Again, it's called Blood Brothers. Like you to know that I'm not saying a word. I'm not saying. You like being on Broadway? You like it's being great. On it's really great. Yeah. yeah. It didn't have a lot, whole lot of rehearsal. Like what, seven, eight days? And About two and a half weeks ago, I had no God. idea I was going to do this. He called me in my office and he said, "You want to come to this show in New York? I'm booked." He said, "It's a great show. Come see it." I did, and I was knocked out by it, and here I am. You know, a lot of people are going to see you guys here, and yeah. it kind of seems like I mean, after the big splash '70s, like you kind of you've been doing a lot of stuff. I know behind the scenes too, yeah. behind the cameras. Yeah, he's been writing, producing. Do you think that those days, the Partridge days, and things? I mean, did it? help or, or hinder perpetuating your career? Well, for me, I mean, there's no question about it. It made me a star, and, and people still associate me in a funny way, although <clears throat> I'd like to think I distanced myself from it a little <laughs> bit, but um, it, was a, a, it was a real albatross for years for me to get over and, and yeah. get off my back, and I, I feel like I look back on it now in those days, and I really embrace it. I, I think I was really fortunate. I don't have any bitterness or anger, anger about it because people all over the world come up to me and say, you know, I love that show. I love what you did. Absolutely. You know, and I, I feel very fortunate. Did the fact that he had gone through the whole heartthrob thing help you at all when it happened to you? 
Absolutely. I, I just left all my crushed velvet at home. <laughs> I said, I'm not wearing any of those outfits. He's done it. Oh, wait, wait. I read what? somewhere the other day that you, I think you tried on one of those spandexy things that you had worn. No, 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 no. It was actually one of those white uh, jumpsuits. Uh, yes. yes. Did you get into it? Uh, well, ah, you don't have to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had to let the sides out a little bit. Okay. I was thinking Listen, of, uh, have a great, great time. Thanks, Blood you know. Brothers, if come you're in New York, uh, come and see the Cassidy Brothers Do. once again. Thanks. Thanks. And we'll be back in just a moment.